On this episode, we'll talk about extended release medications and your gastric sleeve. We'll also talk about having a colonoscopy after your surgery, and we'll talk about skipping meals. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alvarez from endobariatric.com and this is episode 84 of the Ask Dr. A show. Thank you so much for submitting this, uh, this week's questions. Really great questions, by the way. I was amazed. And uh, at the end of, the, of this episode, I just got a little, have a little annotation to, to do regarding a uh, previous episode. Um, thank you so much for all the new followers on Snapchat. I know uh, everybody's been saying hi. If you haven't, go ahead and say hello. Uh, we've been having a ball in the OR and giving you a, a lot of content as well on Snapchat. And uh, well, we'll place the, the username here on the screen and let's get into the show. Can you take extended release medicine with sleeve? All right, so can you take extended release medications with, with your sleeve? The answer is yes, you can, but there's a but, but not right away because normally extended release medications are fairly big. So you need to watch out, make sure your doctor is okay with the size of the pill or uh, medication of the extended release medication uh, that is um, uh, compatible with, let's say compatible with your sleeve. So check with your doctor. The reason is uh, extended release medications are, uh, you shouldn't uh, cut them or uh, put them apart, all right? So they've got a special enteric coating that it's, uh, it's designed to start releasing the medication slowly and continuously, all right? Uh, so, through certain times, certain amount of time. So talk to your doctor. Normally what we do is, uh, let's say you have a um, version of uh, uh, an extended release and an antidepressant. And uh, uh, what we normally do is switch it over to a regular, uh, not extended release, to a re regular uh, anti antidepressant, same version, just not extended release. And uh, after three months, we can switch it back to extended release. Remember that the medication, medication is not absorbed in your sleeve, therefore it will not alter the, uh, the absorption of the medication. What we're dealing with, with is the size of the pill, all right? So uh, that is the only uh, 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 thing you need to be aware of. Other than that, you can, you can take the extended release medication. How do you go about drinking pre-op drink for colonoscopy? All right, so let's say you have a sleeve and you go to see a GI doctor and the GI doctor says, well, you gotta drink this whole gallon of uh, nasty stuff to prep your colon and, uh, and make sure your colon is clean to get a colonoscopy. So can you drink it? The answer is yes. Remember that down, unless you're just a few weeks out of surgery, your sleeve is very tight and swollen. But down the road, you normally be, you'll be able to, to take even a gallon. The only thing, it'll take you a little longer, all right? So remember that the sleeve is designed mainly for, uh, for solid food, not so much for fluids, and fluids should go down fairly well. So uh, just talk to your GI specialist, tell them that you have a sleeve, it'll take you a little longer. Normally, uh, the GI uh, specialists have other options instead of just taking a gallon of nasty stuff. So talk to them, but you can. Why is skipping meals the worst thing for your sleep? All right, because skipping meals is bad with a sleeve or without a sleeve, but it's even worse with a sleeve. Let me tell you why. Because uh, remember now you have a tiny stomach, you need to take care of it because that stomach will be yours for the rest of your life. Take care of your sleeve. Let's say you skip breakfast. So you had dinner, let's say at five or six, let's say seven, uh, the night before, 7 p.m. So that means from seven to seven in the morning, that's 12 hours of nothing in your stomach. And then you skip breakfast and you have lunch until 12, which is maybe five more hours. It's not good for your stomach to have nothing in there and just acids irritating your stomach, your inner layer, which is called mucosa, uh, irritating the sleeve, getting it swollen, it's not good, all right? So always, n always eat something, never, in other words, never skip a meal. It'll be much healthier 
for your sleeve. So uh, this came because uh, if you're not following us on uh, Facebook, uh, just follow us on Endobariatric on, on Facebook. Um, we did these uh, quotes and we've been throwing out a quote that I write uh, with my own um, hand and pen and paper and uh, one of the comments was well I, we talked about the skipping a, skipping a meal uh, this last weekend and a patient actually comment why is it uh, not good to skip a meal there you have it so thank you so much for submitting the questions remember hashtag ask dr. a like this uh, this patient we'll pick it up right away for the for the next show and um, uh, I wanted to let you know that uh, any, any, um, I had an annotation by the way. Last episode, episode 83, we were mentioning about, um, let's see, uh, oh, tight sleeve and how to avoid easily digested food. And I mentioned peanuts, try to avoid easily digested food, peanuts. And this patient uh, actually, um, uh, here it is, Angela. Thank you, Angela, for the, for the comment. Angela mentioned, well, why should we avoid um, uh, almonds or pistachios? Uh, they're a good substitute as a snack. No, they're not a substitute for a snack. They're actually a good snack. All right. So what we're talking about is that they're easily, uh, not easily digested. They fit easily in the sleeve. So all you need to do that's a good choice. That's a good food choice. All you have to do is avoid the quantity, all right? The amount. That was the annotation, all right? All right, so that's it for episode 84 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Question of the week is, did you have any issues, any hard time with your medication after the sleeve? Yes, no? If so, which medication? Why? On the comment section, I'm Dr. Alvarez from endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Hold on. Quick announcement. Quick announcement. For all the people that have been waiting, all the Spanish speaking people, my patients, we finally have the gastric sleeve book out translated into Spanish. It's available on Amazon already. So you want to check it out, go ahead and do so. We'll have uh, we'll have uh, that's the, the picture of the book and on the description area we'll have the link right there for you. Take care.